Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed. In this video, we'll be learning about date time package in A360. So from the actions pane, you can type date time and you'll get all the available actions within the date time package. So we'll see them all in action. Uh, this is my bot interface and I've created a bot with the name date time package and let's use them and uh, see the use of each action within the date time package so before learning uh, this concept like date time package actions you you might uh, you might feel the need like uh, where exactly uh, we can use this date time package or what is the need of this date time package why it was introduced so basically when in a project when you are working on uh, date time operations like uh, you have a date on the basis of date you need to run some uh, uh, queries or uh, or do some uh, reporting stuff right any 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 date related operation uh, you want to perform so uh, if this package was not there you had to write the code in uh, uh, as a form form of in the form of a dll and then use it right as a metabot in in a, if you talk about v11 uh, we used to write a code in a metabot and then use that metabot function but in a360 you have that flexibility uh, uh, the packages are already available as a part of your uh, basic uh, st uh, startup packages uh, and you can use it uh, in a to develop your process in a fast fast way when you are dealing with date time data types that's where this package comes handy so this add it specify a time unit to the existing date so for example you can specify one day to the existing date a minute to the existing date and you can add that particular unit to your existing date similarly subtract is to subtract that uh, given unit from a existing date so we'll see them both simultaneously so let me drag and drop this action over here let me switch to list view for the ease of simplicity and here you can give a source date time variable so for example let's choose the system date so this is system date variable whatever the time is there on my current runner machine that date it will that date it will pick so uh, I'll need to add uh, a value of 2 and that 2 can be milliseconds, seconds, minutes, hours, days, anything, years. So let's add 2 days to the current system date and let's grab that output to a, one of the output variable. Let me create one output variable. It would be of type date time. So I'll just add DT. Uh, don't confuse it with data table let me name it as output and create it so now dt output will hold a new date which will have two days added to the system date so supposingly my system date is 24th of uh, september it will add two days and it will become 26th of september now before printing this date variable to the message box you need to convert it into a string variable because message box accepts only string data type so let's convert this variable into a string variable so let me create one string output variable so s output is my string output variable and here you can specify the format so uh, for example for this uh, demo i'll go with iso local date standard but you can choose from the list of pre uh, pre-filled uh, formats and you can also define your own custom format as you define for regex right so if you have uh, any other if you want your date to be represented in any other format apart from these available uh, formats you can specify it in custom format let me pull up message box now and here we will just type s output so this will give me the uh, modified date so let's uh, let's now run this so the current date on my machine is 24 september 2022 so this bot should give me 26 of september and, and the format we are getting uh, 
year, month, and day uh, because we have selected one. If you select any other format, you will get that date displayed in that particular format. So this is how our uh, add is working. Now, if we can do a similar thing with the subtract. So let's choose the system date variable again. Uh, value to subtract, let's say seven days. So I want to go back uh, seven days back from the current date. So again, here we can go uh, choose a day or uh, let's uh, we have already seen for days. Let's see it for weeks. So I want to go one week back from the current date. So let me create one another variable which will be uh, a last week date. Okay. And it, it, it holds the data. Now I need to convert it to, to the string. I'll copy this uh, here. I'll change the variable. And here I'll create one more variable. Last week date. That will be of my string type. I'll copy this message box from here and just update the variable to last week date. So let me run this again. We'll, we'll see two message boxes, one from the previous add action and another from the subtract action. So this is the previous one and this is the latest one. So you can see here uh, today's date is 24th and we are getting a date. So this is how you can use subtract and add actions within the date time package. Then uh, we have uh, also seen uh, how you can convert the date to string format. So we have already seen three of them and the rest of them uh, are one is for assignment. So now we will talk about assign action. Assign action is similar to uh, the assign action available in other packages. It just used to uh, initialize a variable. For example, if you want to assign a value, a date time value to a variable, then you can use this action. You can simply drag and drop and enter the date time value over here and then select uh, the format which you want to uh, uh, have your date in like pre-built format so for example let's say we, we keep it in this way so 2022 09 and 24 that's the date and you can also choose the custom format if you have any if you don't want to um, if you don't want your date to be uh, initialized with uh, this pre uh, this uh, these available pre-built formats then you can definitely go with custom format also, you can use the variable if you want to assign this uh, uh, another variable with the existing variable, then you can also go with that. And here that's the destination variable. For example, let's say today's date. Um, this is the destination variable that will be holding this value. So this is how the assign action works. And then we have is after, is before and is equal. So these three uh, actions are uh, allow you to compare your date. Are they equal? Uh, is your source date is uh, before your uh, the date which you with which you are comparing or is it after that date? So for example, if we drag this is equal, then you can choose the source variable, uh, sorry, source date which uh, with which you want to compare. So let's say date one is uh, equal to date two and then you can assign that to the output variable. For example, your output variable will always be a Boolean type of variable which will hold true or false. If both the dates matches, it will give you true. Uh, otherwise, it will give you false and you can also set the default data type uh, or uh, default value to your Boolean variable as true or false. So we can write it date comparison or we can write here is equal is uh, date equal and default value is false. So now if you compare your two dates, let's say uh, I'll compare the today's date with or, or uh, rather I'll compare the last week dates with uh, the output date. Obviously it won't match. It will it will return uh, value as false, but you can you can play around with these. Uh, I'll leave up to you as a uh, as a uh, homework or a, as an exercise to um, to practice. So you can you can very well uh, 
uh, get get uh, hold of uh, these actions like is after if it is uh, after or if it is after like whether the source date which you are specifying is after a specific date it will return again true if it is after that uh, after the date which you are comparing or else it will return false similar is the case with is before so uh, it is pretty easy to use guys uh, you can you can just play around it let me know in comment section if you face any difficulty i'll i'll help you out with that in case uh, you like this video please share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching